Hello everybody, my name is Limbites and today I have a special guest. Say hello to the new addition to the family, Loki. Isn't he awesome? He's like the best baby one could ever ask for. Like he's just so, uh, just, just a bundle of joy. <laughs> He really is. Yeah, now he's just chewing on the carrier. Until you put a camera in his face, in which case he kind of just stops. Uh, anyway, I, I kind of just wanted to uh, kickstart this vlog with, with a bit of, uh, uh, of introduction to Loki here. And uh, also um, that we're going to see the very first improv show today. I don't know if I can actually record it in there, but uh, it's really exciting. And uh, I'm really excited. Um, we've been, we haven't actually been sleeping well lately. Uh, Loki's been having a reaction to the vaccine, uh, one of the va vaccinations that he, that he got, uh, that he took. Um, and so he's having a lot of diarrhea and, uh, we're losing a lot of sleep because of that. Um, but I promise you I'm working really hard on some of the content that I, I'm bringing out. I guess this would kickstart the, um, uh, the YouTube Diaries as well. Uh, this might actually be the, one of the first videos, if not, and I'll just put it under a vlog since it'll be, it's kind of more of a ramble and, and less of a, a structured thing, which I was hoping it'd be more of a structured thing, but uh, might as well kickstart now, right? Um, doing YouTube with a child is very difficult. So, um, scheduling is one of the biggest things and uh, being able to maintain relationships with, you know, your friends and your partner and everything like that uh, can be a struggle um, but thankfully uh, we have such great communication uh, that uh, that's that's not really a problem for us um, our plan um, and I'm sharing this so that way uh, it, it might inspire some of you guys who are doing this who don't really um, who have scheduling issues and stuff with child or uh, you know your partner would like to hang out with you more or whatnot um, scheduling like an hour or two of you time um, really works <laughs> uh, I have an hour to myself um, every day uh, and so does she uh, to do anything that we want and uh, I spend most of it kind of working on on YouTube writing up scripts um, and uh, recording videos and editing and all that stuff. Um, I'm still kind of fit, pretty fumbly with editing. Uh, that's a hurdle I'm trying to go over. I'm taking as many lessons on it as possible, but it, it, is, a, it is a struggle. Um, the great thing about these vlogs is that uh, I don't really look, look at them afterwards. I kind of just upload it, uh, simply because if I do look at it, I'm just like, man, I, I, that's, that's horrible. I want to reshoot it. And I'm trying to jump over the hurdle of, um, being a perfectionist, uh, because my wife told me that, or said something to me the other day, saying that perfectionist kind of stems from fear. And that fear can be a fear of anything. It can be a fear of, uh, success, failure, um, who you'll become, uh, maybe something isn't good enough. And uh, I have so much anxiety around being the best me that I can possibly be that uh, it's just, um, it's, it's a struggle sometimes to tell yourself like, hey, what you just put up, even though it's completely idiotic and stupid or doesn't make any coherent sense, that, uh, that it's going to be okay. So uh, I'm trying to teach myself that and hopefully I can I can be a good role model to Loki when he looks at these videos in the future. Uh, it, it's totally up to him too. It's it's uh, all consensual. So if he doesn't want to look at these videos, I'm fine with it. But it's there, you know. Um, I think it's just fun. Yeah, you would, huh? I think he just said that he'd look at them. Oh, I love you so much. And um, I I don't know. I just kind of want to leave something behind, even if it's just awkward idiotic or stupid <laughs> I want to be whatever I can be and um, I think Loki is the biggest inspiration 
since he's you know strugg he was struggling for his life for the first month and a half and such to actually uh, do this like make up my mind and, and do it because it was really easy and I noticed this with a lot of my friends and stuff too who uh, used to do Twitch or used to do YouTube and they, they stopped after they hit a certain milestone is because uh, they they find it easier to you know go find a job or put their dreams on hold because yeah isn't that right because uh, and this is for me too because I did this all the time uh, I would I would get somewhere with you know feeling comfortable with myself making content and sharing it with people and it could just be like five people ten people whatever and then I just I just stopped because it, it was easier to hide in my shell and be like I'm gonna take a full-time job instead uh, versus I'll do a full-time job and also do this you know and so I would, I would put a lot of effort and time into uh, sustainability which isn't a wrong thing it's not a wrong thing at all but uh, I was using it as an excuse to keep myself away from doing what I've always loved to do which was make content I love writing stories I love uh, sharing things I mean in college I would <laughs> I was known as a kid with a uh, camcorder just running around campus recording everything I saw uh, and uh, because I had a strict uh, parents I wasn't able to do any or uh, get into the creative uh, educational space I had to uh, uh, they wanted me to focus more on the medical field so um, while I was going for a degree on that uh, the only outlet I had was recording things and, and such isn't that right and so I kind of fell in love with it but I didn't know what to do with it and uh, now it's like especially you know with the likes of you know Loki um, fighting for his life uh, the car accident I had about uh, I want to say seven eight years ago six seven eight years ago it's been it's been a long time uh, which kind of crushed my ribs it was I was actually really bad um, and various other uh, hey, you tired of walking around in a circle we'll go we'll go over here in the field uh, he's very opinionated and I think he's falling asleep um, is that uh, Oh gosh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying, silly. It's okay. Um, right. Uh, anyway, uh, it, it was a it was a process, and um, uh, rediscovering myself is one of the biggest reasons why I'm doing this for myself. Um, also foreboding joy because I do that quite a bit and for people who don't know what foreboding joy is is when you know you're having a happy moment like this walking around the field with your baby and then all of a sudden you think like man I'm gonna what happens if I got hit by a car right now and I died and Loki you know survived because my carcass developed a cocoon around him and he's uh, he's he's fine you know but I'm gone what what do I have to leave behind and I get that a lot you know just morbid morbid thoughts um, of something out of my control happens and I'm on my deathbed or um, I'm gone in general and people are like oh I missed that dude what happened and you know I guess it's just leaving something behind um, even if nobody watches it uh, I think personally I'd, I'd feel happy to have something just you know leaving leaving my mark somewhere and um, I guess that's what I'm trying to say in this video as well is that you know if you're doing content creation uh, uh, try to focus on the things that make you happy you don't focus on the numbers or anything like that um, because uh, I, I feel like at least for me that's all fleeting you know um, what dictates your happiness are things that you can control even if it feels like it's uncontrollable um, you have the ability to reach out and grasp or even crawl your way there um, you just have to believe in yourself put your mind into it and, and go for it and I think um, if my message does get across clear in this video I don't know I don't even know if I'm gonna rewatch this but 
uh, it's it's really putting yourself out there. Um, I'm super rusty in Let's Plays and stuff, especially since it's been like, what, four months since my last uh, actual gaming video, for example, because uh, all the pregnancy complications started happening around that time and I had to reprioritize. Um, that, uh, uh, you know, it's just, I'm rusty and I'm super anxious about it. I ramble a lot um, and it shows and uh, I'm going to embrace that vulnerability and put it up. I don't care if people hate it or love it. It's, uh, I think that part is for me and the people who do enjoy it, uh, much appreciate it. You know, I, I, you, I hear, I hold you guys closest to my heart and for, <sighs> yeah. Sorry, just walking around with a baby on your chest does get exhausting after a while. I've been, I've been out here for for a good thirty minutes. <laughs> uh, we took a good bath too. Yeah, I gave him a good bath. Um, yeah, I think he's falling asleep. He's having a really good day today, besides the uh, stomach pain from the vaccination. So, um, yeah, I do plan on, uh, you know posting a uh oh there's there's the wife i see her uh, <laughs> she had an appointment so I, I see her driving by now but um what was i gonna say uh right um i i will post an official youtube's diary thing of things i'm doing and all that other stuff um uh sometime soon um uh, and i don't know if this will actually count as i'll probably count it as uh um, as a video zero. We'll do that. We'll count this as a video zero and a uh, vlog two or maybe just a video zero <laughs> in the YouTube, uh, in the YouTube, uh, uh, diaries section and, uh, we'll, we'll see when, when this comes up. But, uh, I can't wait to tell you guys my experience afterwards after the, um, uh, amazing show that is to be promised tonight and uh, I'm planning a cooking video uh, the wife is making some mashed potatoes and she wants me to play in the food so I'm gonna play in the food not actually playing the mashed potatoes but playing cooking something so we're gonna play we're gonna play with a whole bunch of ingredients and it's gonna be great um, the uh, uh, gaming video will be go up soon I'm almost done editing that and um, I am writing a skit, which hopefully I can do on my own. <laughs> if not, maybe I'll make some friends at the, uh, maybe I'll make some friends at the, uh, at the improv class. I don't know. If, if not, well, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Loneliness isn't, uh, isn't a curse, you know. Okay. Lots of loves, guys. Bye-bye.